What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Andre Sisko, uh, safety out of Syracuse. Um, this is a dude that's been pretty hyped up, I've noticed, as far as the safeties go. Um, there doesn't really seem to be any, like, like clear top safety in this class, uh, at least not in my opinion, at least not that I've seen so far. Um, but, Sisko's pretty solid. Um... Let's see. I, I want to get into the positives first because there are some negatives with him. I do think he's a good player, though. Uh, his hips are really good. He's really good at flipping his hips in coverage. Um, he seems to be a deep half guy, so like cover two would be really good. I don't know if I like him being a single high safety too often. You can do that with him sometimes, but I don't. I don't think he's necessarily fast enough um, to just do that all the time. Um, he has some range. He's, I, I just wouldn't say he, he has elite range. Um, he does go for the ball very well, and he's good at causing turnovers because of it. Um, definitely not afraid of contact. He definitely tries to hit people. Um, he's not afraid to square up with offensive linemen, even though it usually doesn't go great for him. Uh, his recognition and uh, instincts are both extremely good. Uh, he's very good at diagnosing a play while it's happening and seeing things before they get there. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it football IQ. I would call it instincts. It's not necessarily like pre-snap things. It's mostly um, post-snap instincts. Um, let's see. I seen him play man and zone pretty effectively. I think he can cover like a tight end or um, some slower slot receivers fairly solidly, and I think he's pretty good in zone coverage. I do like his coverage skills for the most part. Uh, his eyes get him in trouble sometimes because, um, like I said, he does go for the ball, but sometimes um, he'll try to guess what the offense is doing and he'll guess wrong and big plays sometimes happen. Um, that is going to be a problem with him. But the big issue with him is his tackling, man. Uh, like I said, he is a de he's definitely a willing tackler. He will go down and try to hit you. But he doesn't wrap up, and people bounce off of him a lot. He, he misses a lot of tackles. And not only do people break his tackle, sometimes he straight up just misses. Like, he takes bad angles. Um, so that is something that does have to be worked on. Personally, I like him best as a cover two deep safety. Um, I don't, just so he only has to guard half the field, not the whole field. Um, I, th I think that's where he would fit best. Because like I said, I don't think he's fast enough to do, to just be a single high safety all the time. In a pinch, you can probably do it sometimes. But uh, I do see him primarily as a strong safety, but that's kind of hard to say because his tackling is questionable. Um, so that's something he really needs to work on. And a lot of the reasons that he misses his tackles is because he's trying to knock someone the hell out and he's not powerful. Like he doesn't actually have that much like thump, like he doesn't hit hard, but he tries to. And a lot of times people just bounce right off of him <laughs> and they just keep going. So it, he ends up missing tackles because of it. So definitely got some things that he needs to work on. Uh, that's going to be an even bigger problem in the NFL. Players have better balance. They're stronger. They're faster. So uh, he definitely needs to learn to wrap up and tackle more effectively. Th that That's the biggest thing for him, for me. Uh, I, I like him in coverage. I think for the most part, his eyes are pretty good. He makes plays on the ball, but he definitely needs to learn to tackle a lot better. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.